What's going on guys? Welcome to your 31st Java tutorial. Again with me, Travis. And this tutorial is going to get a little bit gooey. Get it? Uh, graphical user interface. Well, anyways, man, it's getting too late for me here. But we're going to learn about adding buttons, adding checkboxes, adding labels, and uh, you know some other good stuff within our JFrame. Because right now our JFrames are looking pretty lame and we need to add some you know swagger to it so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get it to have a default size or a beginning size because again when we ran our little application it's like a very small box and we don't want that so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say set size and we give it two parameters the width and the height so we're just gonna give it 600 pixels by 400 pixels and bam already when we run our application it's looking a lot better. It's already two size, um, something like this. Now, just to let you guys know, the reason that this command works is because we're extending the JFrame. Um, we could also go over to our starting point class where we had a first window, and we could set up something like fw dot set uh, not visible. What am I doing? Set size, and then we give it the dimensions as well. But since we're working within the class that extends the JFrame, we don't have to use this fw.setSize. We could if we want, but we're going to set up everything pretty much within our first window class, so I'm just going to delete that there. The next thing that we want to do is if we run this application again, um, well, do I still have it up? Yeah. So when we click this exit box, I click exit, but as you can see down here, it's still saying that we're on our start here or we're running some kind of a Java application it didn't actually close our program what we're going to do to close it is go up to this tab here and hit quit start here um, because again that's our first class so we're just going to quit that out but if we want our JFrame to actually quit itself when we hit that exit button what we're going to do is we're going to say set default and I'm just going to hit control space and it gives us some options it's going to be set default close operation we have some options here now we can look through these and kind of get a, a good estimate of what they do um, the ones I'm gonna talk about is do nothing so we're gonna click that because essentially we were originally creating some kind of a virus which was pretty lame but we're just gonna save it and run it and now when we hit this X it's gonna do nothing and people are gonna be like what I can't close this what my my computer has a virus that's crazy and uh, anyways, that's um, that's basically what that command means. But we're just going to go up here again and hit start, quit, start here, and we get rid of it. Most of the time, you aren't going to want to do that. So what you are going to want to do is we're going to say exit underscore on close, or I'm sorry, on underscore close, and that's going to exit our activity or our application. As you can see here, and it gets rid of it down here in my uh, little dock or whatever that's called. So pretty cool. We already have some setup of our JFrame. The next thing that we want to do is we want to create some kind of a a, a panel, basically. Um, a panel is going to allow us to hold some items within it, uh, such as buttons, such as you know labels, checkboxes, all the things I talked about just a second ago, probably two minutes ago, but. Uh, how we're going to do that, it's pretty simple. We're just going to say jpanel, and we're going to set this equal to be p, or I'm sorry, identified as p. We're going to say a new jpanel. So it's pretty much just like every other time we create an object, we just call the basic constructor. And all we have to do is we have to say import jpanel. And again, it comes from the swing package. As I told you, we're going to get familiar with that swing package here. So right now, we have our panel set up. We don't have anything within our panel. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a button. So we're going to do a J button. As you can see when we use this swing package, we basically refer to J and then whatever we want. Um, and most times it will work, like J button, J check mark, stuff like that. And we're just going to call this button equal to be, uh, or this button B, and we're going to set equal to new J button. And this time we're going to pass something within the parameter. We're going to pass whatever we want that bu button labeled as. So we're just going to say uh, button one. Pretty creative uh, title there. And then we're just going to add our import again from the swing class. And there we go. We can add another button simply by copying and pasting 
because that's what we're most famous for. Um, you know, just copy and pasting stuff. And there we go, we have two buttons now. Now what we want to do is we want to add our buttons to this panel, which we called P. And it's going to be pretty simple. Uh, all you're going to do is P dot add, and then what, whatever component we want to add, which is a button, um, a checkbox, something like that. Uh, but we're just going to add our B button for our button one here. So we're just going to add our other button now, P dot add, and then we're just going to say C, which is our second button. And now we have our panel set up. Um, basically, we created a default panel here. We added two buttons with this add command to our panel. The last thing we have to do is add our panel to our J frame. Because our J frame can hold some different panels. And I'll show you guys that in the next tutorial probably. But, uh, you know, we have this panel P set up and everything's good to go. All we have to do is add that panel to our J frame. Again, we uh, are just going to refer to the add method and this is going to relate to our super class which is JFrame and we're just going to add the panel P and now when we save this and run it we have a couple buttons pretty cool huh um, they don't do anything yet but we got some some pretty cool buttons here and uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys make sure you check out the next one because it's gonna be awesome and thanks again for watching and subscribing I'll catch you guys later have a good one